Hello AFCM, Bill Villapiano. Along with my wife, June, we pastor Faith Fellowship in Houston, Missouri. I also serve on the executive support team. It's my privilege to bring you this month's Faith Aid. This month, I'd like to talk to you about something I believe will be an encouragement and will help you and maybe even help you to help others. I'd like to talk about courageous faith. You know, Paul was very correct. He said, in the end times, perilous times will come. Dangerous times will come. Wow, here we are, we're watching the evacuation of, of Afghanistan. We are still in the middle of a pandemic that we thought that we'd have behind us by now. Political turmoil surrounds us. Uncertainty concerning the future. And you know, you can almost play scary music in the background and, and it would get your attention. But listen, the Bible talks about something that was made for days like this, an antidote for it. And that is courage. You and I must have courageous faith. We are told 86 times in scripture to fear not. Now, it's not that I believe that God is telling us to live with an absolute absence of fear, but it's not to allow fear to control us, our response, or our circumstances. So let's talk about just what is courage. Well, let's turn to scripture. And I've circled two words here. They're both very small words. It's be. Let's read it. Be strong and of good courage. Then I drop down later in the verse, only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do all the law. Here's something that I learned in this verse from these two little words. This little word be. Be is this. Be is key. Because be tells me this, that courage is a decision. Courage is a decision. Do you notice that there's so many things in Scripture that they're not a feeling, it's not an emotion, it's a decision, like forgiveness. Now think about this. We are told to what to be kind and tender-hearted. You have to decide to do that. Right. You and I are taught to be generous. That is what a decision. The same is true with courage. Courage isn't just something a few people who are heroic have. Courage is something that's available to each and every one of us. And first of all, like forgiveness, it begins with a decision. And this day and time, rather than allow fear to overcome us and encouraging others round about us, not allowing fear to overcome them and control them in their circumstances, we must encourage people to be of good courage. Now, see, courage is about this. I like this. Courage is about character. And fear is about emotions. Now, you know, emotions are loud and they scream and they take advantage of us. But courage is what? It's a heart issue. It's down deep on the inside of us. Courage is what? Courage is about our character. And character is always about Christ likeness. Courage will do this. Courage gives us the ability to face our fears. It's not the absence of fear, but it's to face our fears down. Courage is strength in the midst of pain or grief. It's to stand against intimidation. Physical courage could be described as this, to face physical pain, hardship, even the threat of death. Well, that's an important thing for many people of faith across the world today. Moral courage, my, we must have this. Willing to face rejection, to stand for something or stand against something. Moral courage understands the consequences and stands anyway. Spiritual courage. When circumstances say quit, faith rises and says stand. Winston Churchill said this, without courage, all other virtues lose their meaning. Think about love. Sometimes love has to be very courageous in one's life. The same is true with generosity. Well, once again, what a, what a great understanding of courage. Without courage, all other virtues lose their meaning. Courage does this. Courage silences the negative voices and the fear-mongering. We go to Numbers, the 13th chapter and verse 30. Caleb, what? stilled the people before Moses and said, let us go up and once and possess it, for we are well able 
to overcome it. What did Caleb do? Caleb stilled the negative voices. He stilled those who were trying to cause fear to rise up in the hearts of the people. The spies are telling them this. They're giants. We're grasshoppers. Caleb, what? He stood up and he silenced that. He stilled it. He quieted it. What? It was a courageous moment in the life of this man as he stood up. What? Understanding that everything was saying, quit. Caleb saying, stand. Listen, we live in these kind of times, and God needs men and women of faith to be courageous. To be courageous. I, I, I encourage my church family, listen, this is a good day for you to, to do something you haven't done before. Have some courage. This is a good day to be on a school board. This is a good day to, to be in public office. This is a good day to, to, to not compromise on the job. See, fear will cause you to compromise and capitulate. But what does courage do? Courage understands the consequences. And what does it do? It stands anyway. Let me pray for you. I'm praying for good people, people who, who know right and people who are doing right every day. We are surrounded by these things, but you and I should be marked with something unique in this day and time. We're not people of fear. We are people of courage. Our faith calls us to do something bigger than what we are. And I'm praying that God is going to help you to accomplish those things in your life. Father, I thank you for the AFCM family. I thank you for these men and women of faith, these warriors of faith. And I believe, Father, that they will be strong and courageous in you. Not being intimidated, not falling back, not shrinking in fear. Father, we are strong in the Lord and in the power of your might. We thank you, Father, for these things in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.